Yeah, hello? Do people want more workwear videos? They're tired of all these sneaker reviews? Let's give the people what they want, man. Let's make a workwear video. Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew, what it do? Hopefully you are having a fantastic day today. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over three things you need to know before you buy a pair of Carhartt Ripstop Cargos. Let's get into the video. Let's not waste any time, starting out with number one, the first thing that you need to know when it comes to Carhartt Ripstop Cargos, whether you're buying vintage, whether you're buying brand new, the pant isn't as comfortable as you might think it would be. When I got these pair of Ripstop Cargos, um, I, I thought that, you know, I didn't have, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know whether or not they're gonna be comfortable, I didn't know that whether they're gonna be too rigid. But what I initially realized is that there's compartments on the pant that rubbed against my knee, in particular, that made the pant a little bit uncomfortable and it made it a little bit harder for me to wear. Pant is so uh, well made and it, it is a very like rugged pant and the seams are done so well that sometimes the thickness of fabric laying over top of fabric makes it a little bit uncomfortable. And that for me um, has honestly caused me to wear the pant a little bit less than I thought I would, but it doesn't mean the pant is bad. That's really the only criticism I have of the pant is that, you know, for whatever reason, by my left knee, um, the pant rubs against my knee so like vigorously. It's like a, I don't even know. It, it's like just terrible. <laughs> it's just absolutely terrible. Um, that's one of the things that I've had to experience with the pant. Now that might not be for everyone's experience. It might be just me, but like, uh, my knee is just it like it's like shaved down to like where it's almost rug burn on my knee because it's rubbing against so vigorously every time I take a step. The second thing that you need to know before you buy this pant is how durable it is. I mean, I kid you not, guys, it's one of the most sturdy pants that I've ever owned without a doubt. And that just goes to show how well, you know, Carhartt garments, how well Carhartt um, just fabrics are made. Ripstop is essentially a, a type of fabric that if you guys don't know, prevents ripping. Um, the, the way that the actual fabric is woven, it, it prevents against tugs, you know, happening in the fabric. And that is one of the best features of this pan is how just durable it is. Um, you know, besides the fact that obviously I have a little bit of comfort issues, when I wear the pant, you know, when I've gone out and done things in the pant and just, you know, been out in the pant, I've had no complaints in terms of, you know, any anything happening that could be uh, harmful to the pant, whether it's getting snagged on something or anything like that, um, which is one of the reasons probably why you want to buy some, some ripstop cargos, just because how durable durable they are. It's definitely one of the shining pieces of Carhartt, how durable the pant is and how well made it is. The third and final thing you should know before you buy a pair of Carhartt Ripstop Cargos is the fact that the pant is a little bit heavier than some of your other workwear or uh, other trouser or pant styles. Um, like I said, because there are so many pockets, because there are so many um, compartments to the pant, you have a hammer loop, you have you know uh, extra cargo pockets, you have so many different things right going on with the pant that it adds a little bit of heft and adds a little bit of weight to the pant, right? So in like the winter time or you know in the in early spring, which is where we're in right now, it's a pretty good pant to wear because of the fact that it's a little bit colder outside. Um, it, it keeps your legs a little bit warmer and it, it has a little bit more weight to it. And I think that's part of the reason why, like I said in the last clip, it has that durability aspect is that the fabric they use, the ripstop uh, material is a very heavyweight material and does its job in making sure it doesn't rip. Not only that, but Carhartt has um, some very nice metal aglets on all of the compartments, all of the uh, extra pockets on the pant, and these seem to be very durable, um, very nice metal aglets or metal uh, buttons that they have and so that probably adds a little bit more weight to it as well um, it's just a it's just a very nice pant to kind of hold in your hand and it feels substantial uh, when you have it things that feel substantial it always feels nice to have something that feels a little bit heavy feels like a, it'll last a long time and that's definitely what the carhartt ripstop cargos feel like if you have any extra tips that you can leave down in the comment section from your experience with this pant please feel free to do so. I want people to be enriched in this community. I want people to learn and make educated decisions based on their purchases. And so if you you know, have a pair of these and you know anything different or if you experience anything different, if you love them, if you hate them, whatever it is, 
comment that down in the comment section. Everyone would truly appreciate it. But other than that, hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Subscribe if you like the content. Like the video if you enjoyed the content. Connect with me on Instagram at DrewJoiner underscore. I post videos almost every single day pertaining to fashion, sneakers, art, culture. In, in fashion, I talk a lot about workwear. So if you're into those kind of things, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. These things are getting a little bit dusty. I need to pull these back out. It's been a few days since I wore them. But man, these are some sturdy pants. Like these are some sturdy boys. And I don't know why they said this is black. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this black is really like, like a green, like, like almost like a mossy green. It's kind of weird. Um, anyways, that's for another video. <laughs> Peace, y'all. <laughs>